today is the once a week feeding for the aggressive, less aggressive 4500 gallon as usual we got some mullet pallets and less pallets and some mullet just in case if anybody comes over and begs individually to be fed or doesn't get enough I noticed last week uh, probably the Piraiba started biting the again just lightly but started hunting one of the marble pim catfish the one on the on the right by the wall it healed up already but that was a sign for me I think that the water is warming up and the Piraiba and company are getting more hungry oh, even the JLO senior is coming over she hasn't come over in a long time I want to say several weeks Anyhow, we're gonna throw it all in. Okay, all right, relax. Everybody spooks for no for no reason. We're gonna throw it all in. The pellets and the first part of the, or the main part of the mullet. Watch them do their thing. And then, if need be, we're gonna feed some more. begin the red tails are eating well now as you can see Mike and Amanda's red tails Tiger Shavano is eating real well too took him a while but now to warm up, warm up and now he's warmed up the guard just <laughs> grabbed it a mouthful of pellets instead of the fish. He probably was going for the fish. As usual, I missed if the bigger bat got anything. It looks like he may have something in his mouth. All the iridescent sharks started eating fish, as you can see. I usually see that in the preparation for the spawning season. They begin taking a lot more food, including the, the fish, which they usually snub. The raiba will be hesitating as usual again. One of the last ones, or the last ones to start, the last one to start feeding. Jello, but I don't know why she's not going to the bottom to feed. Okay, we're gonna have to feed her individually. There you go. Good job. She doesn't like big meals either, I noticed. For the last year or so, she was only taking them. She prefers to take smaller pieces. There's a Jello Junior there too. We fed. We had two groups today, and Jay Le Jr. came up both times and got fed by by the visitors. So he should be all set. Unless he's still hungry, he'll come over again. You see, they, both of them are going along the right wall to the back. Junior to his spot by the drain. Senior. I don't know if she will want any more, but maybe she's moving her spot is over there to the left where that marble pin, uh, selfie marble pin catfish is sitting. That's her spot over there. She's crossing over by the back wall. 
the bigger bear. I think he got something. Oh yeah, he was. He's dis he's disliking the red-tailed rami male. Most of all other tank mates in this tank. I think he grabbed something, but again, I'll, I'll watch it on tape to make sure. There's some mullets still laying around. I don't know if there's some maybe behind this ledge in the blind spot. There's at least three over there on the left. Three mullet. Come on, Piraiba. There you go. Took one lazily. As if he's not hungry. I know he's hungry. It's just very skittish. Fisher that's afraid of everything. During the feeding time. You got something big in your mouth. You're not gonna swallow it tail first. You have to pull it in pull it in head first, you know that. Gar only swallow the prey uh, head first and they look usually carefully with the head and with the tail and then swallow the tail first. I don't know why he's got it. Um, uh, usually they, they only swallow with head first. I don't know why he's got it in there, in his mouth, tail first. Kind of strange. Alright, let's take a look if there's any mullet left. There's one right there. I want to see if there's anything more. If not, we may throw in the second little little seconds, especially for the Piraiba's sake. And yeah, there's one here. Just a few pellets on this side. Yeah, the new Arowana, Mike and Amanda's Arowana, I have to feed it separately. There you go. She started taking mullet, but she doesn't take it from the water column when I throw it in there. She wants to have it handed to her. Okay, I see one, two, three mullet laying around. It's probably not much. Yeah, yeah, what do you want? Go swim around. You too. And you too. Shameless beggars. Uh, Mike and Amanda Zarawana is still not grabbing anything from water column, as I said. So I have to give it to her to eat. I'm not sure what's gender yet. Looked like the female when I got it, but time will show better. I go by the extensions on the pelvic fins that go beyond the anus for the females, I noticed. And only reach the anus, or may not even reach the anus in the males. Alright, see one last mullet on the bottom over there. Gar is trying to snatch it. He's gonna get it now, yep. Okay, let's put put some more fish in there. Pure I even need to fill up. Karina came down to the bottom to get some, to get one. Yeah, I should have thrown it to the to the left. That's where Piraiba usually likes to get them. To the right, there's too many rivals, and this fish is so hesitant and difficult. It just swam by by that mullet laying right in the middle. Didn't take it. Okay, 
this this mullet are going fast. Yeah, you got two mullet in your mouth. Good job. Yeah. Talking about greedy. Throw in some more to the left as I should have done before. Oh, there you go. That's the first time I catch uh, Mike's marijuana. Snatch, uh, snatch a mallet from the water column. Good, good. Good progress. I like seeing that. Okay, Piraiba got one more. Ever hungry Cubans. The ever reserved male tropical. Tweezers, the long nose gar has been kind of moody all this winter. Almost not eating anything. Just an piece here and there for the last, let's say, five months, four months. Yes, where's the head? The other way. You're going towards the tail. There you go, that's the head. There you go. All right, now you can swallow it. There you go, all right. All is fine in the Gar family. Okay, well, there's a couple mullet over there by Jillian. The ripsaw catfish. Yes, you're always so timid. The male tropical, the female tropical is a hog. I'm not really sure what I mean of their gender is just based on their size and girth and the eating habits. Okay, Gorami are mouthing some of the mullet. Okay, let's get some more for them. Looks like they're working on whatever I throw in there, they're working on it. Well, Yeah, see the iridescent shark going for for them. As I said, all three of them are eating fish lately. My goal is to have Piraiba filled up and then I should be all set. There's one, two, three, four, five, five mullet laying on the bottom. There you go, one, four to go. Come on, baby. Let's hesitate, let's swim around, let's wait until somebody else eats them. Also hop lazily. Uh, it looks like uh, Jayla, Jayla Senior just, I saw something flashed in her mouth. I think she got another one, in addition to the one I gave her. The bigger bat has a tail sticking out of his, he out of his mouth. So okay, so he, took, he took either at least one, or maybe this is his second. Yeah, Vailant is not wasting his time. Also very greedy fish. Yeah, right. Go look for it when everything's gone. Because why not? Okay. Gonna throw in some more in there, I guess.
Jerome Garoma just snatched one. The bigger bait is looking at it. You got one in your mouth already, buddy. What are you looking at? At the one that the Garami has in, in its mouth. In his mouth. It's a pink form male. Osphronema's Garami. Alright. Don't we'll freak out. Karayibu is stressed. Instead of taking the fish, just swimming around. We are taking the fish, of course. Yeah, this, see, this fish is laying around from for minutes, and it's getting slowly picked up. And Karaiba is one of the last ones to pick him up. There's none left again, right? Yeah, I don't see anything behind the ledge. And I don't see... Oh, there's one by the by the drain over there. Somebody better get it before it gets sucked in and I'll have to sh fish it out of the... out of the sump. 15,000 gallon sump. It's usually no fun to get it out of there. No, yep. They just pushed it. They just pushed it into the drain. Thank you, guys. Lovely. One more down. There's three of them still laying around. Come on. Okay. Second one down. Two more. Just run there for more. <coughs> yep, like you're hungry. Marble pin took one. there. Hopefully the Piru Paraiba gets it. I'm gonna have to go and retrieve that. Try to find it first in the 15,000 gallon sump in the darkness. With a flashlight in one hand and a long net in the other hand. It's a very strong flow there, it's very hard to see what's there. And there is this black shade, shade cloth for the biomedia. So if anything is under it, you don't see it. You have to push it around and look for it. Reba just took the last, the last of the mallet, we're gonna call it a feeding. A feeding. This piraiba is, I want to say, pretty close to three feet long, if not exactly three. Our peers tell us that for the Peru piraiba, 
they don't grow any bigger than three feet. So this is this is it. Pretty much. For many years to come.